Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. Hey, this is a completion to that series that your girl started a couple weeks ago. This is that final video, guys. I am excited to do it. This is my kitchen tour, but you know, it's focusing on organization and how I keep it organized and clean. You guys ready to see it? Let's go. All right, so the hardest thing for me to decide right now is where to start. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the most boring parts of my kitchen. Every part is close to my heart, but you guys know my fridge and my pantry are my hearts as well as my coffee station. But anyways, I'm doing the whole kitchen. So we're gonna start with right back here in the oven area. So the first drawer or cabinet, the first cabinet is my spice cabinet. Let's get into it. So everything by way of spices go in this cabinet with an exception to my salt and pepper that I keep on the counter. I keep all of the most used things down at the bottom. The smaller of the seasonings are down here. I utilize this tiered shelving system that I got from TJ Maxx a while ago. Everything is organized by like brand. I have H-E-B, Great Value, McCormick, as well as Weber. These Weber containers are quite big, so I did have to put them in the front in order to utilize the space. The next section is our larger bulk spices, our Old Bay seasonings and stuff like that, as well as some nonstick sprays. At the very top is multivitamins and the bulk salt and pepper stuff that I need to put in the thing I have on the counter down below. All right, so right underneath my seasons cabinet is my sugars that I am using at the moment. I have flour, sugar, and brown sugar. These canisters came from Marshalls. I bought them several years ago, but if I can find the link on Amazon, I'll definitely link it below. So another thing that I have in this corner is my Google Mini. I love this one so much. This one is child friendly. It is connected to all of the kids reminders. It is their wake up call in the morning. It's really everything. If you guys want me to show you how I use our Google Mini, just leave a comment down below and I'll definitely make that a video. But yeah, this is where she lives. As the kids room, so it's right back here. Another thing that I like to mention is those Google Minis were only $25 and that was a few years ago. So I can only imagine how low the prices are now. The next tip is definitely on the portion of organization. I've done this in almost every single property I've lived in and that is this hook I have right here. Oh, I show. have put a command hook right underneath my cabinet to hang my mitts. I hate when mitts are all over the place but they definitely need a home and this is where minds have found let's oh. talk junk drawers guys i cannot stress to you enough how important it is to clean out this drawer only keep what is absolutely necessary for us i definitely keep this little basket that floats this is everything that will definitely float around the drawer if it's not housed in something and that is my scissors every little thing pins chargers all these type of things these are definitely junk drawer appropriate put them in a bin so I know you guys are wondering why all this negative space. As you notice, I did mention that we keep charges in here. The children's, the children's, how do I sound? Our kids put their tablets in here at night. So phones and tablets do live here at nighttime or you know, when someone is on a punishment, they go in this drawer as well as another Google shout out. Google need to sponsor me. Hey, what's up? I use that Google family link to shut down their devices when they are out of service. And that goes for nighttime. There's a schedule that you can put on there. That's what I use. So <laughs> other things that are in here is extra hooks and little command things. <laughs> I know, I can't even explain it. Batteries and gloves. So yeah, that's what I have in here. And that's what this negative space is. But obviously the kids are quiet because they got their devices right under there is where I have my larger pots and mixing bowls so I have mixing bowls mixing bowls pots pots and glassware and that is about it I do use the tiered system the bowls match each other so they fit into each other as well as these and you know lids on those pots that go with them so pretty simple but elegantly cute all right, so we're back above the oven and I have a first aid kit up here, guys, as well as our crawfish and fish fry things. And that is all I have up there. I don't really use this drawer very much, but when I do, that's what's there. I know what y'all are thinking. Why am I on the floor? Well, 
I have used Nike bags for one thing. They came from Sam's Club a while back. They're awesome. I have one here, one right under the sink. But I wanted to show you guys this. Now, my oven <laughs> does not have the broiler function down here. So I do keep my pans stored down here. I have a muffin pan, some cookie sheets, as well as some pizza pans. Right down below, my broiler is a part of my oven system. So I actually really, really, really enjoy this next cabinet. This is my baking cabinet. All of my baking supplies are housed right here. I just recently added these two hooks to hold my measuring cup and my measuring spoons. They came from the Dollar Tree, guys. These hooks, these hooks came from Dollar Tree. These measuring cups and spoons came from TJ Maxx. They are so, so, so cute. I love the color. So in the cabinet, I house absolutely all of my baking goods cake mix, icings, jellos. The next tier is sprinkles, cookies, my measuring bowl, as well as my hand mixer. That's very important. Up top is the real, real cake product. This is what you need when you want to start from scratch. And up top is that bulk sugar and flour. Right underneath that, I keep all of the things that I use every day on this super cute chopping board. This salt and pepper storage came from Amazon and that will definitely be linked down below. I keep my olive oil up here. This came from Trader Joe's. It's super cute, but very, very basic. I have my knife storage that came from Bed Bath and Beyond, as well as my utensil holder that came from TJ Maxx much I organized this it will never be perfect why because my kids always throw away silverware so yeah all of our utensils are here this is as best as it gonna get yeah so yeah <laughs> self-explanatory I have a little divider from home good TJ Maxx as you guys have seen before and all of our little devices I have a lot of devices handheld devices I'm pretty nostalgic when it comes to making things so yeah I do it myself by hand with my little hand tools so underneath here is more organization i do like i said i use the tiered system because i just you know i can't with the continuous buying stuff to organize stuff i'm going to use stuff to organize stuff <laughs> that makes sense but anyways i did use this turkey roasting thing that came in one of our pots a couple years ago to organize my lids i know why is it not from smallest to biggest because i use do 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 the most so yeah i have them where they're easily obtainable I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this. I do keep soap, my scrubber, and my everyday multi-purpose cleaner right up here at arm's reach. This stuff is functional. I also have my cleaning brush back there. So, I wasn't gonna show you guys this, but it is organized. I'm gonna go in detail with this stuff that's going on down here a little bit later, but I do keep my cleaning stuff. Yeah, just say cleaning stuff on hand very organized as well but I will go into a detailed video on how and what let's I talk use coffee but first no let's talk wine I purchased these wine racks from Ikea they are fairly inexpensive but super super cute and very easy to install I love Stella sponsor me girl but yeah I love Stella so that's what I have in my rack all right so the first cabinet is my favorite cabinet this would be equivalent to your grandma's china cabinet. This is my china cabinet. Let's start from the bottom because the bottom is just cute. Mugs, tumbler mugs, margarita shots, Coca-Cola. Yes. Everything is so freaking sparkly beautiful and I love it so much. This is the best, best. This is the most, I don't even know what to say. I just love this cabinet. This is my favorite. Granted, I have some Texas shot glasses up there that does not match a thing, but our souvenir cups are going in that particular so, area. The next cabinet is more glassware. I keep all glasses over here. Now this is where we, you know, eating things. So this is obviously my favorite. I I use these most often. <sighs> How cute are these? I just gotta show you guys these. Aren't these adorable? They're like the little bougie egg things. I got this from Kroger for a dollar the other day. I just thought they were super cute. But yeah. I keep all of our dishes here. And again, I use the tiered system. You don't need a whole bunch of organization things to make yourself look organized. Just, you know, tiered. You guys have seen several times. I keep my coffee in there. This is nothing too fancy as far as organization goes. It's just super cute, but that's how that looks. Self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna talk about it. I do keep my diffuser pushed back behind it and I pull it out when I'm needed. As far as organization go, <laughs> yes goals right all of my teas are housed here 
So I have every type of tea. I like tea, y'all. I really like tea. I have sugar. I have some coffee stuff, some lemonade stuff. I keep all of my reusable straws here, but as you can see, they are out. I have some recyclable stirrers as well as my wine screw cork whatever that thing called yeah so yeah that's how that's organized it's really just organized in their boxes i kept them in their boxes to make sure they're divided and their boxes actually help keep the stuff fresh so i do recommend keeping your teas in their boxes or in some type of container so that's my spell is all of my cleaning towelettes so i have my tea towels or whatever you want to call these things I dry my dishes with these microfiber towels this is for my stainless steel this is Wayman stainless steel cloth so I use those I keep some magic erasers in here my attachments to my cleaners as well as all of the Glade and Airwick diffusers so this is all smell good stuff I also have some essential oils that I put in my diffuser here and then I have a bit more you know stuff that is cleaning related it's actually some actual napkins back here when i'm trying to be extra fancy so yeah that's what that is actually another junk drawer situation this is like junk drawer decorations or junk things that just don't have a home these are decoration pieces i have a blooming teapot so cute and just some other random decoration stuff like a plastic picture when am I gonna use that? So yeah, <laughs> that's what I have down here. And uh, my flower vases live here when they are out of use. I'm underneath my coffee bar, and right underneath that, I have the prettier decorative serving wear. So yeah, I have all of my white serving dishes, casserole dishes that I typically only use for holidays. I have my jugs, my wine glass yeah these are like the pretty decorative i'm about to be cute and fancy and have a bougie dinner type right, of so again if you learn nothing else from me today is to use the tiered level of organization for your stuff in the kitchen you don't need all those shelvings and stuff it's cute sometimes but sometimes it's a little bit overdoing it and it causes clutter so yeah if you don't want to buy that or if you're trying to save money just use a tier system. It provides the same eye gaze, the same level of comfort to your eyes that provides a pretty aesthetic. I know you guys were excited to see my fridge, but this is her. Yes, she is so cute. And yes, she is thick. I have eggs at the top. I love these egg trays. Yes, it provides a little bit more effort to get your stuff organized in these up front, but you will thank yourself later when you go reaching for stuff and it looks this cute. So yeah, I have two of the exact same egg trays. We get our eggs from Sam's, sometime from Kroger. I have, you know, dairy things and all. One thing that I must point out is my leftovers. So the last time I did a refrigerator organization, I did have a question about where I keep leftovers because I didn't have any. Today I filmed on a Monday, so we have Sunday leftovers. I need to turn off the fridge beeping anyways <laughs> so yeah i try to keep my leftovers all up here so that i do not forget about them sometimes they get pushed to the back and i kind of just try to keep this space accessible for leftovers i have cookies butter i love keeping the kids things in these trays it just keeps them from getting all over the place i depackage almost everything Depack juices. Definitely, I cannot stand cardboard in my fridge i do keep my butters in their boxes let me turn it off. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> so I do keep my butter in their boxes, but everything else you would kind of see depackaged. I keep the kids' juices in here. It just keeps them from moving all over the fridge. I keep our yogurts. Our yogurts is here. The kids' yogurts in the back, as well as applesauce here on deck. These things are good to keep full. They're in my eye reach, so I can see when they need to be restocked. Underneath that, I drink almond milk. I try to keep the bloat out of my life. And almond milks help with that. I have some juices, some vitamin waters. This is salad dressing. I just, you know, I wanted it fancy for my reel, so I put it in this container, but it's definitely unnecessary. So, <laughs> thus, most of this stuff is. I have heavy whipping cream. I have some coconut water in the back. These are upcycled coffee drinks i buy cough cold coffee from kroger actually these bottles can be took back to kroger if you get another thing of milk by this brand and they will take two dollars off that milk so that's a good thing to know but what i do is i use the jugs and just refill them with regular milk because they're cute as well as my orange juice here 
so yeah that is that underneath that is my fruit drawer i love my fruit drawer so much the kids go in here all the time so i have blueberries strawberries and cherries i purchased these from the dollar tree i got the gray ones because i just felt like the gray ones were just sleek and cute i also used these these containers came from sam's clubs they are pretty awesome i like the plastic ones for my fruit and veg anything that does not require to be microwaved my veggies are in that next drawer so i have the same containers from dollar tree here my cucumber is loose i kept the plastic for the tomatoes so that they can they're housed i have lettuce and you know spring mix down below i am out of breath lord help me next i have my deli drawer i love this drawer it's not very well organized this stuff slides all the time but i have i try to keep all the cheeses on this side then all the meats on this side so sausage bacon sandwich meat hot dogs and there is in the back there is some summer sausage that i need to do a charcuterie board for you guys will see that later that is a trailer for another video i'm gonna do a picnic with bay so next i have my waters over here in the door hubby likes cold waters i'm more of a room temperature type of girl his monsters and my sodas i love these sodas these are really the only thing that is like personally mine other than the milk in the fridge these are mine all the other beverages in the fridge are pretty much hubby's and the kids and then the milk is kind of mine too so i keep our condiments in the side door this stuff is obviously grabbed a lot so i keep it here so we have sour cream mayo jelly wordy whip and tartar sauce stuff to make hot dogs ranch and like all of those extra spicy spices that we like i keep our garlic and stuff like that down here because that's a very small tiny space all right so underneath is my freezer i do have this organized and kind of like breakfast foods fruits and veg and then quick meals for the kids up top i have definite breakfast food this is the kids toaster waffles things to make smoothies um, some sausage pups, that was breakfast. These are the kids' ice creams. And this actually was meant to be made last night. It just didn't happen. So this is not really where this goes. We don't keep this on hand. It's just that it's here for now. This stuff here is mommy things. This is meatless sausage and then a meatless burger. You know, when your mom's is trying to be, you know, meatless and whatnot. And then the Halo ice cream. Here I have veg and then more frozen veggies for smoothies. And then all of this stuff here is like quick meals for the kids. We do not keep our meats in the house. We keep them in our deep freezer. So that's why I have more space, you know, for stuff like that. All right, so I'm gonna try to be a little bit quick with everything else in this kitchen. I love my kitchen so much. I do love my kitchen so much. A lot of people that have this type build, their kitchen kind of stops here ours continue and i am so thankful that it continues because it allows me maximum storage opportunities so one of the favorite parts of these sides of the cabinet is how i organize the kids so this dish. is the kids dish where we have lunch boxes extra plates i don't use very often popsicle holders molders and little things things for lunches these are actually what they gravitate toward these are their cups bigger bowls they definitely use these bowls all the time throwbacks yes so yeah their plates and then sometimes actually me and dad will actually use these plastic plates we don't want to use our glass plates but yeah that's what this cabinet looks like and i absolutely love it again i am using what that tiered level of organization so right next to that i have this drawer which is all of our I don't even know what to call it storage wear i guess storage gear so yeah i keep all of our storage things in this even up at the top that is our ideal things to meal prep if we ever did my george foreman i used to have my waffle maker here but it broke so i need a new one and yeah i have my the rest of my plastic storage dishes these are plastic spoons and forks and stuff that keep right here Paper plates, because yes, sometimes, you know, we get lazy and we want, we don't want to wash dishes. We grab these and then I have my glass dishes. Like I said, I like to keep these things divided. I use the things that need to be microwaved in these containers and things that are kept cold in these containers. So yeah, and a cookbook. <laughs> section is kind of a junky drawer as well. I have some 
Halloween baskets, my salad spinner, you know, just some random, random things that didn't really have a home, our water bottles, our shake bottles. If you hadn't noticed, we are right over my blender. So yeah, these things are blender specific. So yeah, that's what this row is. Three and then with this, oh my gosh, I feel like I've been talking so much. I'm gonna go through the upper half which is this first cabinet. This is my lunch drawer. This is where I make the kids' lunches. I try to use cute stuff in their lunch kits all the time. And these are the things that I use in order to make their stuff all cute and fancy. I also keep condiments <laughs> in here. I throw some of this stuff in the kids' lunches, but this stuff has come in handy before when, you know, we are out of sauce. Holla at the chicken. Well, next one is definitely, you know, storage bags, plastic wrap, and aluminum foil. I keep my man's and land in here. I love this thing to death. If you don't get any other thing to cut your fruit really, really cute, or cut your veg really, really cute, get a mandolin. It cuts everything super cute and super precise. Is another junk situation. This is all of the additional kitchen utensils that we just don't use on the regular. I love these mats to cut. They're really, really pretty and they're flexible so they're easy to use. But yeah, these are our old knife set, barbecue, grill, accessories or whatever. And everything else is like random kitchen things that we don't use often but we do gravitate toward sooner or later. Potato Express. I picked up these cute little s'more sticks from Target a couple weeks ago but super cute, right? But yeah, that's what I have. And I have them on this gigantic organizer. This used to be in my other utensil drawer, but it broke a little bit. So these heavier objects actually weigh it down. So it actually works pretty well in this section. Carrying on with more additional pots and pans. These are definitely the ones we don't use on the norm. My griddle, my wok, things like that. The second one over is all the baking goods and needs to make all types of cakes and products right here. So we are right back underneath that junk drawer in our miscellaneous cabinet. This cabinet houses stuff for outdoor, the outdoor fryer. It has some ice packs in here, some older things that we just weren't ready to get rid of as well as our plant, indoor plant necessities, all right here <gasps> in this cabinet. Are y'all ready for the best part? Let's go on the pantry. <laughs> The first thing you're gonna see is this little hook here I have with hubby and my aprons. Yes, I'm extra, so yes, we do have matching his and hers aprons. So up top is definitely our cereal bar. I have grits, a cute little flower arrangement. Guys, I know. I never did do this during the holidays. So yeah, it's just back there, looking cute, but yeah, it's gonna be sitting there till Christmas. <laughs> Continuing, I have all of our cereals in this container, guys. These containers are amazing. I'll link them down below because I did purchase them from Amazon. But yes, it keeps our cereal all nice and clean and crisp. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. But it keeps our cereal fresh. <laughs> and it is cute. It is clean. And it is crisp. With the theme of breakfast is, of course, pancakes. And then it goes into adult beverages. Right under that is all of our cardboard dry goods. That's what it is. So rices and pastas, things like that. I have a few dessert items back in that back corner. I do keep my pasta in the spaghetti container and I keep open bags of rice in that shorter pasta container. This next thing, I have extra rices because we like rice. I love me some rice. I have oatmeal in the back as well as a few of some more on the healthier side of cereal. And everything next is definitely for drinks, whether it's sweet, delectable treats, or whatever I'm using at the moment to make my smoothies. Following next are definitely condiments. We have all the things we need for kids, all of our things to make our more oriental meals, and you know, just random stuff that you definitely need in your cabinet. There's also grits in the back because we're Southern, we love grits. <laughs> so I got these baskets just to kind of group some things together. These little labels are something that I recently added. They came from Dollar Tree and I just used a little chalk marker to write on them. Guys, let me know what you guys think about the little chalk marker edition. I kinda, I'm simple, so I kinda liked it without it, but it's kinda cute with it, especially when hubby or the kids are helping me put this stuff back together. So yeah, it's helpful for people to put it back, but because I'm typically the one that's doing this stuff, 
it's kind of redundant i know where this stuff goes so <laughs> so i have all of my snacks these are my snacks i love chocolate cover anything and i love craisins i use this stuff you know for snacks for trail mix as well as in my cereals and oatmeal so yeah i have this that right there is the best granola ever it's sam's club brand and it is so good the next container are my breads. All of the breads fit inside of here for hot dogs, nun bread, bagels, everything. All the breads are in this one. Back in the back are popcorn. Everything movie related arts is in our big popcorn containers. We do use these containers, but they do house our popcorn stuff. Some raisins out in there. Not, not raisins, but chocolate covered pecans. Those are hubby, so I kind of just pushed them back off to the side. All right, so down here, I have nuts, um, seeds, and all these. I usually put nuts in, you know, baking goods, or I put them in salads. This is why the croutons are back here, because this kind of get used for salad things as well. Back here are bigger potato chips that mom and dad eat. I keep the unopened potato chips and crackers pushed to the back, but these are the open ones that are in this container down below that is the kids chips back to the right i have all of our canned goods up top we have all of our most used string beans stuff like that and then down below i have canned goods that we don't use often but we definitely use at least once a week Back to the left is just more storage, stuff that are just way too big and I don't really love keeping it up high. My Ninja that I love so much. And in this little corner here is our avocado plant that we are growing. We are excited to get this guy budded. She is not budded yet, but she is in a safe place for now. <laughs> right underneath that, I keep my picnic basket that I use for the family, family road trips, picnic stuff like that, as well as this little cooler right next to it. There's a lunch box and then way back in that very back corner is some ramen noodles and potatoes. Another very obvious solution here, all of our drinks, I take them out of their container and I house them here. This is all of the rollback drinks and things like that. <sighs> Guys, this video was definitely a mouthful and I am Tired. Go ahead and send me some purple hearts if you made it this far with your girl. I definitely appreciate it. Hit the like, go ahead and subscribe, and check out that playlist for the other organization videos. This is my spring tribute. So yeah, go ahead and watch those videos. But until next time, my friends, I will see you later. Peace. Y'all ready for the finale, the pantry? Yes, I know I am, cause I'm hot and I'm sweating. That went, whoa, I almost fell. I don't got any knees like Megan. <laughs> no, I don't, honey. But anyways. All right, so right underneath my spice cabinet, I keep my flour and sugar. I keep them in these containers. There's these containers. Just... Let me just delete that whole clip because I'm wasting up memory now. Right. Let's talk junk drawer. Guys, I cannot stress. My phone keeps falling off the honey tripod. I hate this tripod.